The Adrian Arts Center for the Performing Arts of Miami-Dade County proudly presents City Theater's 17th Annual Summer Shorts Festival, South Florida's fast and furiously fun program of the nation's hottest short plays, staged in the intimate Carnival Studio Theater Ziff Ballet Opera House from June 1st through the 17th. Under the new direction of producing artistic director John Manzelli, the sizzling 17th season of the company's acclaimed Summer Shorts Festival features 15 performances of eight original short plays with the ultimate goal to make audiences laugh. I had the pleasure of speaking with the new producing artistic director, John Manzelli, the other day. John, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, it's always great to talk to you because we know the City Theater puts on some great uh, productions, including the Summer Shorts Festival, which is happening, and we wanted to talk all about it. So what what's going on this summer? Oh, wow. Uh, well... Right now, we have four pieces of programming going on. Um, our biggest program that we do is uh, Summer Shorts, and this year it is Adrian Arsht Presents Summer Shorts 2012. And that are, it's nine short plays. We're calling it Nine Plays, 900 Laughs. It's uh, mostly based on comedies this year. This is the 17th season for City Theater, but this is your sixth year at the Arsht Center, right? Uh, yes, that's correct. How did the relationship with the Arts Center come to be? Come to be? Um, from the beginning, well, we... We were down at the Ring Theater at the University of Miami for a long time. That's where the, the company began. And we were looking for a new space, looking for a space that uh, was going to be an expansion for City Theater. Uh, we were looking for a place that, that sort of emphasized what was new and what was coming and what was hip and modern here in Miami and sort of the new face of art. Mm-hmm. And we thought this seemed like a great place to be right in downtown. Uh, with the name City Theater, it seemed like we should be in the city. And so uh, that's how, kind of how it began, and they've been, they've been great partners for us uh, more and more every year, and, and now we have a really nice relationship, and we love being here. It sounds like a perfect uh, marriage of arts organizations. I think so, definitely. Let's get into it. Let's talk about uh, what Summer Shorts is. Okay. I put it this way to someone the other day. If you are a devout theater goer, it is nine short plays, uh, four award winners, one by Israel Horowitz. It's a series of short, like, ten-minute plays. Nine minutes, eight minutes, six minutes, short pieces of theater. Uh, if you're not a big theater-goer, it's kind of like Saturday Night Live, except actually live, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you know, some of the pieces are six minutes, you'll be laughing, and then all of a sudden, eight minutes later, you'll, you'll have a piece that kind of touches you a little bit, and we, we've got a really neat lineup. We brought in some uh, writers from television mm-hmm. and some writers from the theater, and trying to mix the genres a little bit and uh, put that on stage. How do you pick the different short plays that you're going to do? Oh, wow. Uh, well, a couple ways. One is submissions. We get about 1,000 submissions a year. Wow. Yeah, and that's actually uh, caused us to launch a new award. We're launching the um, City Theater Award for Short Playwriting. And we've picked uh, about four or five plays that we think are the best of those 1,000. We're putting uh, a couple of them on, including our award winner. Other than submissions, then we start going out amongst contacts. Uh, one of the uh, directors I'm bringing in this year is a guy named Mark Swanner. He's a writer out in L.A. He worked for The Second City, if you're familiar with them. Mm-hmm. And he now writes for NBC. So he's a friend of mine, and I brought him in to direct and said, you know, hook me up with some of your, uh, some of your comedy buddies who write funny things, and, uh, <laughs> and let's see if we can get good material. So it, it's all kinds of different channels. So there's com. I mean, there's a whole different bunch of different genres. There's comedy. Yeah. There's some serious stuff. There's some musical stuff too. Sometimes, right? Uh, yes. This year, in fact, we do have a musical. <laughs> oh, tell us a little bit about it. We've got a piece called "The Man from Mars," written by a local playwright, which we're very happy about. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, it's about a a guy with a special power. Um, I can't give you away give away what the power is, okay. but it's a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got a special power. And uh, there's a there's a musical number in the middle of it. It's kind of kind of seventies disco-y kind of piece. Nice. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And who's that local uh, playwright? His name is Chris Demos Brown. He wrote um, Captiva recently at the Zoetic Theater. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And what about some of the other short plays? Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the other ones? That it- sure, sure. We got a really fun piece by Israel Horowitz, which is not always synonymous with the word fun, but um, <laughs> most of Israel's pieces are set on a border checkpoint somewhere. But <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is a really fun piece about a, a, a I'd say a, a mother who's been out of the tap dance business for a while, who's trying to audition for a, a dance number and. It's it's a very fun piece. She she dances during the whole darn piece. Um, 
we have that. We have a really, really nice uh, piece about uh, three women in a book club. It's actually, it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's three women sitting at a, at a sort of Oprah book club and dealing with the dysfunction in their lives. <laughs> What's the name of that piece? That piece is called The Britneys. The Britneys. The Britneys. We're, we're actually very proud of that. That piece originated locally in something called the 24-Hour Theater Project a oh, number right. of years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It showed up one night. The writer wrote it literally from midnight to 6 a.m. and handed us the piece, and we're actually doing it a couple years later now. I don't think we've changed more than five words. It was that good. Wow, sometimes when it's right, it's right. Yeah, exactly, and it, this one's just right. And so is that uh, more dramatic? Um, you know what? That one's also, com- it's also a comedy, but much more in a, in a sort of um, independent film kind of kind of way. It's much more, I would call it a dramedy, I believe they a call dramedy, it. Yes, a dramedy, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what else in this Summer Shorts uh, series do you have? What other plays can you tell us about? Oh, wow. Shorts? Um I, um, I see one here. I looked on the website at thearshcenter.org. Yep. Reality show. Oh, reality show. Okay. Reality show is a, a kind of fun experiment that we're doing. It's, um, it's the only one that I wouldn't consider a play. Hmm. It is more um, an experiment about uh, reality television. It's, uh, it's an actor trying to duplicate reality television on stage and um, going through the different, the different things that go into reality television and how you might, uh, how you might get ready for an audition for reality television. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's very visual. Um, the audience, I believe the audience gets to vote at the end. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you can vote them off the off the stage. That, that, that's pretty much exactly right, not to give <laughs> anything away. but <laughs> Vote them out of the theater. <laughs> Does that come at the end of the short uh, uh, of the series? I, I don't think so. I think we're going to put it somewhere in the middle. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. And what about Bedfellows? Uh, Bedfellows is um, Bedfellows I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, that is a, a play that won the Samuel French Award for short playwriting. It is a <laughs> very funny look at a true story of John Adams and Benjamin Franklin when they had to share a night in a very small hotel room together and share one bed. It is a very, very funny piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, it's kind of the odd couple set in the Revolutionary War period. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> And um, I'm also seeing here a Green Dot Day. Green Dot Day is, um, yeah, Green Dot Day is a play that is our award winner for this year, that competition I was telling you about earlier. Um, this is a very fun, funny play about, a, about an important subject. It's a, it's a couple dealing with uh, infertility um, and, try, and trying to, the sort of craziness that happens when you're dealing with the, the constant subject of getting pregnant, getting pregnant, getting pregnant, and that mm-hmm. kind of stress. And they go to some ridiculous lengths to seduce each other into into staying romantic in the midst of trying to have children. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that one there. That... <laughs> and how about I'll Be There? I'll Be There is, um, frankly, my personal favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it, it's, a, it's a play about um, a very likable, awkward man who... Is, he's, he's stalking this woman, basically, but... And, and I know that sounds like, oh, no. And it's your personal favorite. We'll have it to is, get into this. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> um, they, he's, he's this harmless little man who, <laughs> who, who hangs out stalking this woman, and they turns into this delightful little romantic comedy, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What about Moscow as we move through the different titles uh, here? Moscow is a, uh, a mother and daughter. Um, a, a, a Jewish mother and daughter who um, are basically um, performing a, a, little, a little ritual ceremony on top of a hill in Moscow, and this young um, Sierra Club professor, outdoorsy woman, has, has trucked her, uh, her older mother out in the middle of the woods, um, all the way from probably Brooklyn or Boca Raton, <laughs> and uh, hiked her, schlepped her up a hill, as you were, um, <laughs> it, it's it's a very fun piece. It's 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 a it's a sweet piece about a mother daughter relationship, but it's got a lot of comedy in it. Oh, that's great! And then I also see there's one just called simply three. It's called three. Um, yeah, and I will leave why it's called three for when you see it. But Perfect. It's um, th- this is a really nice little piece. This is a um, a man who is gone to. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward comedy. It's a man who's gone to the the grave site of his of his first wife, who's been married to for a long time and who he loves, 
and he's now he's brought his his new girlfriend with him, and he has a very nice relationship with the new girlfriend. But but the awkwardness of the new girlfriend being there while he's having moments with his his first wife, I, I think is really um, it, it's really poignant and, and, and very topical. It's the idea of what do you do when you had this love of your whole life, but yet you move on, you go on with your life, and do you forget the first one, or do you, you know, you still have memories and attachments, and sometimes it's not all that fun for the other person to sit there and relive those for you. Hmm. <laughs> you always have the most uh, interesting plays during this summer short series. It sounds like you've got a whole great bunch again this time. Thank you. We're also performing a, a family musical called The Brand New Kid. Okay. That we're partnered with the Art Center. It is based on Katie Couric's book. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, you can get information at arshcenter.org. And so that's like a full, that's full length? Absolutely. It's a full length, hour and 20 minutes uh, for families completely. It's, it, it's basically the story of a, a new, a young man who moves into town from a foreign country mm-hmm. and, and getting used to being the odd, the odd kid out. And they, of course, discover that he is not any different. He's just from another place. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about your background. Huh? Sure. Are you, is this your first year with Summer Shorts? Um, it's not, actually, um, but <laughs> it's my first year in this particular position. Last year, I was the artistic director in, in charge of programming, and the year before, I was the production manager, and the year before that, I acted in the company. Oh, wow. You mm-hmm. really moved your way through. Yeah, I, I was the associate artistic director of a small company called The Naked Stage. Sure, sure. That we, we, di- we did a lot of, we, we actually had a really good little run um, of doing interesting theater in town. And prior to that, I am, actually currently, I'm also a professor at Barry University of Theater. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Oh, so you've been with uh, the City Theater, though, for a few years, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, it's my fourth. I've been around this for about four years. About four years. Well, it looks like you've got a great, um, a great uh, lineup on TV tap again this year and it's uh, john manzelli he's the producing artistic director now for city theater no relation to liza manelli right ah, no 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 <laughs> um john i want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us oh this has been great i appreciate it thank you for more information contact the adrian r center box office by calling 305-949-6722 or online at arshcenter.org for south florida arts beat i'm paul Leary.